Love is caring even when you're too tired to care. Love is holding your tongue when you'd rather be critical. Love is not mushy. It does not have to be worn on one's sleeve in order to be real. It can be shown as well with a smile or a touch as with compliments and gifts. Love is not egotistical or self-centered. It doesn't have to have its way every time. Love does not have a short fuse. Love does not fuss and whine and say, I told you so, even if you did. Love does not keep score. Love does not compete so that others might lose, but so that others might win. For love is a win-win proposition. Love does not look for the worst in others, but always expects the best. Love covers a multitude of sins. It is not blind, as some say, for it sees our weaknesses, it knows our imperfections, our shortcomings and flaws, but accepts us anyway, just as we are, with no strings. Love is persistent without being pushy. Love is trusting without being naive. Love is hopeful without being pie in the sky. Love is undefeated. All other gifts and virtues are temporary. Here today, gone tomorrow. So much of life is forgettable. No one will remember the sermons I preach, the lectures we give, the lessons we teach, the songs we sing. No one will recall the overtime you put in, the courses you pass, the degrees you earn. But they will remember how they felt in your presence. They will remember that in your company, if but for even a moment, it felt as though life mattered, as though they were significant, needed, and valued. When we're little ones, it's hard to understand all of this, but when we grow up, we actually get it. These little glimpses and reflections that give us a window into an eternal dimension, and at last, we get it. And so we're grateful today for friends, for family, for memories, for flowers, for music. But most of all, we're grateful for love. Love alone stands center stage. It is the magic and mystery of life. It is the gift of heaven, which endures for all eternity. Thanks be to God.